What's going on guys, welcome to another video. So today we have rank 5 ascended gameplay of Kate Bishop, but those first two clips are going to be without ascension. So there is one clip with suicide, which is this one, and the next one is going to be the same fight without uh, suicides. So yeah man, she won actually, oh she didn't win, but she was in the second in the poll. So Absorb Man was yesterday, Kate Bishop is today, and I'm going to keep making those polls. And there's actually a couple of champions that I'm not going to include in the poll because I want to test them out for sure. I think these are like the highest requested, so I really want to use them. But this is like a casually like 700k sentry about to be destroyed by Kate Bishop, which is one of the best skill champions in the game. For some people, might be might be this the best skill. And I'm honestly, I don't know. It, it's very close. I'm in, in between like Kingpin, Shang Chi, and Kate Bishop. But Kate Bishop has so much damage, man. It, it's actually crazy. So here we actually early release the special to Caltrop. But it doesn't really matter. He's actually really close to dying. So I'm just baiting out his dashes now. And he's dead. So this took us a minute. Now, this is the exact same fight without the ascension and uh, without suicides. So you're going to be really surprised. Like, obviously, Kate Bishop's cold some damage increases with suicides. But... Man, the time is actually very close. And I'm not sure if I had like better AI because usually with Kate Bishop, the AI cooperates well. Because you have them in the corner, you activate your cornered passive, which makes them want to throw their specials. And it actually works. It's it's like a better taunt. It always happens. Like it, it happens even against Zemo, which Zemo is like one of the one of the champions that's like the most most stingy. So yeah, I just love fighting champions that are stingy with the specials with Kate Bishop. So now that we have our two call snaps, I want to swap to the culture. There we go. So I'm gonna go for the special one. And since he's not bleeding immune, when I bait heavies or bait his dashes, he's gonna take damage. So I can stack one more as well. There we go, we're unblockable with the crushed debuff. And there it is. It's taking for 5k and now if I bait his dashes, he's just gonna kill himself. So yeah, this is this is actually pretty great. Pretty great time. Like th this is a minute and seven seconds. So we did it like seven seconds. Uh, it, it was seven seconds longer than with suicides. And the reason because of that is on the suicide clip, I believe I threw the special two to apply the cold snap. So to apply two cold snaps with one special two. So basically, I don't have to throw two special ones and take the recoil damage. So that is the reason, because when you use Kate with suicides, you can pop the special one. And that cold stop is already ticking um, before you get to the second one. And since with suicides, you don't really want to take double recoil damage, I usually go for like one special two, and then they both start taking then. So this is Ascended gameplay. We have Red Hulk, and we also added the Kamala Khan Synergy. And um, I think America Shaft is where it gives us one more on our Trick Arrows. So now look at this uh, Kaltrop's damage. This guy is taking for 6640. And this is Ascended without boost and class advantage. Now with the third calls up, which you're only going to get with the synergy, it's he's taking a little bit more than 10,000. 10, so yeah, this damage is, is pretty great for, you know, the first, you know, 30 seconds of the fight. Like, this guy taking for 10,000, yeah, he's pretty good, honestly. <laughs> so, here, because he's not bleeding immune, I'm gonna go for a Kaltrops. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for Special 2 or Special 1. Seems like I'm gonna go for Special 2. I hope I don't choke the perfect release. Okay, I did it. And that actually applies all three Kaltrops. So, when this guy throws heavies or does mediums, he's gonna take a bunch of damage. And I hope you're ready for this. Look at that. I'm gonna bait the heavy. Yeah, he just takes 64,000 and then 27,000 or 54,000, sorry. <laughs> so this guy is just, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. This has to be like the highest dot damage. So Red Hulk, Labyrinth Red Hulk in a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now we are taking Kate Bishop to her limit. This is max boosted, max synergies, and suicides. So this is going to be the craziest thing you've ever seen, man. Like, I'm gonna fully ramp up Kate Bishop. We're gonna increase our critical rating with the Fragile Arrows, 
and with the cruelty from the special tree. And then we're gonna get our big cold snaps and then the big caltrops. So if you wanna use Kate Bishop in a very long fight, you ideally wanna go for like the fragiles and the cruelty to actually increase your crit critical uh, damage multiplier. Because basically the more critical damage multiplier you have, the bigger the cold snap. So you wanna go in this order, like ideally go for special three or the fragile, because if you go for the cold snap first, the damage is not gonna get increased even if you increase your critical damage after you applied it. So you want to increase your cr critical damage before you apply the cold snap. I don't know if that makes sense, I hope it does. So here I need to rush because my, my buffs are going to fall off and I was lucky enough to hit the perfect uh, bonus as well so I get the precision which is really helpful because we're hitting for like 14k without even the fragiles. So there I early released it unfortunately but the next one is going to be a perfect release and we're gonna get all three of them. All three uh, fragiles. That not, not that big of a deal you know I still needed two special two so doesn't matter too much. So that's why I popped the pre-fight for the fragile because I want to pop the specials and then I want to switch my arrow to the cryo to apply the cold sound. So that was like a nice 50k. <laughs> oh my god. 42,000. That's great. Now we just keep our buffs, our debuffs. And we just, I just, I'm just struggling to switch to the cryo arrow here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of tough sometimes, you know. Yeah, I think I want to tap it once more, but maybe I tap a little bit more. Okay, nice. This is perfect. So I'm ready to go for the special two. There we go. 58,000. Casually, 44,000. Oh, man, it all crit. That precision it must be really nice. So now we have two cold snaps, and they're ticking for 21,000. Man. <laughs> Again, this is not really a realistic scenario. This is like just for fun, you know? Look at that, though. Now this guy is ticking for 33,000. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. And now you haven't seen the best part. You haven't seen the Kaltstrops damage, which here I'm struggling to switch to it, as you can see. <laughs> but man, just having this cold snap damage is enough. But when it leads to the Kaltstrops, oh man, I was not expecting that high of a damage. This, is, this has to be the highest dot damage in the game, in the entire game. Look at this guy, he's gonna throw a heavy. He took 66,000 from a heavy attack, from just throwing a heavy attack. And pay attention to his health now, he's got 50%. And I want, to, I, want, I want you guys to see how fast he's gonna get down to zero. So we bait a heavy, he takes 109,000. 109,000! Again. <laughs> Dude, that is just absolutely crazy. Another 109,000, just like that. And he's taking for 33,000 per tick. Kaltrop's like 54,000 if he does a, me a, a, a dash. And then it, it goes up to 100k. 109,000 when he just throws a heavy. That poor Captain America. And did you did you see how fast he dropped? He's already down at 10%. Just like that. Man. Keep in mind, this guy has 7.7 .7 million health. So we're just gonna finish him with style on the special 2. Those crits were pretty big as well. So this is like, personally, the fastest I've seen. You know, I haven't tried, you know, CGR, which is probably the fastest, but dude. Under four minutes to take down 7.7 .7 million health. Let's just make sure it's 7.7. .7. I want to see the exact number. It has to be close to it. Oh, it's 9.5 million health. Never mind. So... We took almost a 10 million health pool in under four minutes. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Like once we ramped up, which took us like half the fight, that Captain America just died in a minute. Like half his health just dropped in a minute. With, you know, 109,000 from the cult drops when baiting a heavy and the call sub taking for like 33,000 per tick, which is 66,000 per second that has to be like the highest thought in the game and that's why kate bishop is is really great man like you saw she even works great in like 700k health pools but even if you want to use her in long fights the damage is absolutely crazy 
So yeah, guys, I will be making more polls for uh, Ascended Champions. So yeah, make sure to vote for the champion you want to see uh, if it's included there. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.